And welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is great to see y'all here. Iguana, I'm glad you were here early. It is awesome to have y'all here. And it's going to be a little bit different today. I, as I, I talked about it a little bit in some previous streams, but I've decided I'm going to dive into... Uh, Minecraft 1.20 in hardcore mode. And I was going to wait till next week, and I just decided, yo, forget it. Let's do it today. <laughs> so so today, we are going to do uh, hardcore Minecraft in 1.20. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to try very hard not to die. So let's uh, get over to the game. And... Uh, I'll, like I do with the others, I'm gonna I'll record an intro for a video. Um, I don't know how much of a video I'll actually get, but hey, we'll we'll go for it, and uh, hopefully things will go just fine. And welcome to new episode, new season, new everything of going hard here on Music Free Gaming, and I am in Minecraft. 1.20 in hardcore. You can see the hearts down there. And I'm going to explore this 1.20 world in hardcore. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. I'm hoping very much not to die. And this is not a good sign. The village behind me is a zombie village. So, okay. We'll, we'll see if we can make this work. I guess uh, step one, let's punch trees. Ah, yes, the the ever eternal struggle of uh, day one Minecraft. All the tree punching. Oh, okay. You got a little used to, uh, oh, it's a, tr it's a pig. It's a pig. It's not something that's going to kill me, which is awesome. All right, so step one. Grab ourselves a crafting table. And a couple of... Okay. Grab a couple of tools just to make things a little nicer. All right. And also, I think... Oh, pig with his baby. Too bad. I think I saw some other animals around here, too. <clears throat> All right, now... Hey, come here, pig. Thank you. I need your, your sweet, sweet body parts. Because your, your sweet, sweet body parts are so sweet, but also salty. And... I'm going to regret this, but let's go take a look at this village. Ooh, might look at that, too. Okay, so we'll uh hello chickens. I'm not sure if I should grab an, some oak saplings or not. I usually try to grab saplings of everything on the way. <sighs> okay, this is probably really stupid, but I saw over here by this village this ruined portal. Let's take a look, see what's there. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be something really useful. Or, you know, it's just going to be a mess. But let's give it a shot and see what we got. Also, I just realized I don't have my resource packs on. So, let's see. Yeah. Um, terrain. That way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I I grabbed those and I just totally forgot they're there. Okay. Well, we've got ourselves Oh, a curse of vanishing hoe. Well, that's great. Um a little bit of iron in the whole nugget department. Okay. And grab some flint and steel. 
not great. Not hor horrible, but not great. And I don't have anything to dig up that uh, block of gold. So, however, I might as well take this chest with me anyway. So, let's not die in that lava, and we'll head... I am going to take a peek in this village. It's probably a mistake. I fully expect mistakes are going to be made here, but this 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 pig if this pig is any uh harbinger of omens uh it, this is probably going to go badly okay Whew. all right pigs i definitely want to get some of those pumpkins though all right here we are mistakes are being made as we speak, but grab a couple of pumpkins and you know let's see let's see, let's see we're gonna oh, good, nobody's in here and there's some food in here, we'll take that alright, now the good thing is it's daytime so I'm not too worried about monsters coming out of the houses it's just what's inside them and as we all know it's what's inside that counts like that guy that guy's inside and he sort of counts and so let's keep him in there because it's what's inside that counts that's how this works people okay some more food that's great okay i have a bed so that's great um all right, well, we'll keep exploring and see what we get. Oh, man. Let's see anybody in this house. Nope, the house is empty. Okay. So this is great. A lot of empty houses. I was glad to find a bed, though. Okay. So, okay. Ooh. I don't know if I'm going to need this, but I might as well bring this blast furnace with me anyway. And, ah, okay. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. So it turns out there was only one zombie villager here, and it looks like we've got some wheat, oh, and some carrots. Let's grab some carrots. Honestly, I'm not too worried about the wheat. I can get seeds everywhere, but if I ever get to another village where I can set up a breeder, I'm 100% going to want carrots because they are they're the better villager breeder food because you don't have to worry about poisonous potatoes, right? All right, well, let's keep looking around. Ooh. And I should duck into one of these caves and get some stone tools, at least. All right, because, yeah. This is totally, absolutely, 100% completely safe, right? Not at all a, a danger to me or anybody. Let's step out here for a moment. Okay. Let's grab a stone pickaxe. Okay, yay. And... Oh, I'm out of sticks. Okay, cool. A stone axe. And... I'm gonna... Oh. I would need one more stone. I really should get a stone shovel, too. Don't necessarily need a stone shovel right now, but it will be nice, I'm sure, at some point. Ah, <sighs> okay. Stone shovel. Wonderful. All right, so let's, uh... Now, I've... I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm going to be easily distracted by shiny objects for a minute. Let's, uh, 
Got ourselves a nice little flower forest over here. Oh, okay. That that kind of scared me. I'm still alive, so that's good. I am a hoarder. Hello, I am Pearl Stalker. I hoard things. Um I but amongst the things that I like to hoard are two tall flowers. Because they're really useful for being, you know, die. And, and for those of you wondering, I have a vanilla tweak installed, so uh, I can have stuff happen. Also, I did not see what that alert was, but whatever it was, thank you very much. Uh, you are awesome and amazing. Okay, so now, you know... If it weren't for the fact that this village is haunted, I'd be down for to stay here, but let's go take a look and see what else is around because I am honestly not super impressed. Okay. But being here in a sunflower forest is kind of nice, I suppose. All right, let's... Let's seek the high ground. If I have learned anything from Obi-Wan Kenobi, it's uh, the high ground is sort of important. So let's take a look up here and see what we can find. This is a big hill. Ooh. Ooh. Now this is nice. So I'm up on top of the hill behind the haunted village and I've got my first look in this world anyway at a cherry blossom grove. So this is awesome. What's not awesome is the fact that it's getting to be dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleep and then we'll grab some cherry blossoms or something. This'll be fun. Yeah, we'll just, uh, yeah, okay. This is cool. This is also food would be nice, okay. And I love the cherry blossom trees, to be honest. They look they look so cool. I'm gonna take some of this wood, partly because I need wood, but also I'd like to grab some cherry blossom saplings. Oh, these are tall trees though. It's okay. And th this does make that village even nicer, but I think, again, the whole, it's sort of haunted. Let's, Oh, let's take a look. We'll see what else is around. Also, this tree is really tall. Did I mention that already? Probably. Okay. Also, I have to remember I'm in hardcore, and uh, we try to avoid the whole falling to my death type of thing, because that would be bad. Okay. I'm just trying to burn through this pickaxe, so. For those who are wondering, why are you still using the wooden axe? This guy's. Yep, that, that's pretty much it. You are here to provide <laughs> comic relief, I think is what that is. Nice. All right. How's it going, Iguana? Welcome to both of you. Glad to have you here, and... Ooh, that's fun. Let's see if I can very carefully. Ooh, that's a ways down. All right, so no, we're, we're fine. Everything is fine. I'm just gonna very carefully make my way down this mountain. Just do it this way. So this, it is a new survival series. This is actually in, in Minecraft Hardcore. Um, I haven't stopped on the Create Mod. That's going to continue. But I I wanted to do, um, wanted to play in uh, 1.20, which is what this is. It just came out yesterday. And uh, so I thought, hey, what the heck? 
Oh, is that? Those are roses over there. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, let's, uh... man, my day one pockets are insane. So yeah, so I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna try to do here, it, uh, officially I'm kind of thinking a uh, hundred day challenge. Hello rabbits. Try to survive a hundred Minecraft days in hardcore. And if I do that, I might keep going, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But let's take a look. This is a big flipping hill. I, I mean, I love the terrain. I'm all about the mountains and stuff, but come here, pig. You broke my ax on your face. Yeah, that that's it. I'm officially just trying to not die. And uh, at the same time, Kill pigs. All right. Oh, and yes, I do have the eating sounds turned down. It's uh, a little bit weird for me still, but what the heck is that? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So we've got some, got some bees going on over here. What I'd really like is that cows up there? Yep, it's cows up there. Yeah, what I'd really like to do is maybe find find some bamboo. That would be cool, but find another village. That would be awesome. And welcome back, Iguana. Okay, so we'll just uh Hop across the treetops. Okay, now you're supposed to review some mortgage application. Oh yeah, fun adult stuff. <sighs> All right, so where am I? There was a river. I think I'm gonna try to stay sort of near the river, but I'm gonna grab these roses because to to quote the, the wise, uh, you know, 80s pop band, you know, roses are red and violets are blue. Honey is sweet, but not as sweet as you. Right. <sighs> okay. So let's see. Ooh. Well, that's spicy. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. You can live without much of the adult stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like being an adult, um, but yeah, there are parts that of the whole adult lifestyle that are not the greatest thing, most fun in the way to, to uh, famous. I don't know. I can't words today. English that that they. I can't even say that English that and send it back. Try that line on my significant other. Yeah. Ooh. Um. So iguana, two things. One, don't. Please don't talk about your age in the channel. And two, uh, YouTube does have rules about uh ages that. Officially, if I find out that somebody's in my channel is under age, I I'm supposed to like. You know, report them or something. So. Going to just pretend that did not happen. Hello, cows. I have no idea. I'm just sort of wandering around here. I don't even know if I'm in the right where I'm at and where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. No worries. I'm just just one of those things. Ooh. Okay. We has the thing. Yep. It's not quite as bad as like Twitch. I think Twitch, I could theoretically have my channel suspended if I don't report somebody who's underage. YouTube, I don't think is quite as strict about it, but you know, this is really, ah. Okay, there's a dark forest. Am I going the right way? Okay. 
I mean, using free cam is probably a little cheaty, but I don't know. I kind of, kind of feel like I going the wrong way. I I don't know if there is a right way or a wrong way here, but. I just sort of feel like it. Um, huh. All right, we'll keep looking around just to just see. Because I, I would really like to find a village, and I might have to go uh, take on some more cows. I am, however, really, really happy that I uh, found a bed. I Admittedly, there was sheep around, but... Still. <sighs> Maybe I'll head back towards that mountain if I could find it again. Head sort of back towards zero, zero, which has got to be kind of this way. Yeah, because I've, I've, now that I've got some cherry blossoms, right, I can get the cherries, or I've got cherry saplings. I grow cherry trees wherever. The other thing said I'd like to find would be some bamboo to uh, use some of the new bamboo blocks. Hmm. Hmm. Um, you've got an idea? All right. Now, I suppose I could go... Uh, I wonder if, I don't know if I went to the top of this hill. We'll take a look. Um, I suppose I could take a look and just see. Right, I think, what was that? Oh, you got an idea for a house? Yeah. Houses are cool. I should think about one of those here. But I have to find a place to live first. Also, I think I need to find more animals to... Uh, to get in my belly. So what is Reddit's API situation? Well, um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Um, make a house that connects to a mountain cave. Yeah, I do that a lot. It's kind of fun. It's bigger on the inside. So, Reddit's API situation. I think they're shooting their, their themselves in the foot with uh, by charging so much for API access. But those who have been uh, making making a living based off of uh, Reddit without actually uh, paying for access. Also, you know, I'm not, don't have a huge amount of sympathy for them. So, but I think what they're charging is a little bit ridiculous. All right, cow. Got him. Got him too. Okay. Make sure I didn't drop any other stake over here yeah an api is an application program is it? it's a way for um applications to talk to each other so application programming interface thank you yeah my my mind was totally going blank on it so it, it's like if you want to uh I don't know, if you want to automatically pull information, in this case from Reddit, you want to get articles or comments, they have a defined way of doing that, and you can do that automatically. Okay, I think this is where I started. I think the village is right over there. Um, and there are lots of apps that have APIs, okay? Um, and they're really cool. You get a, a cool app with a cool API, you can do all sorts of good stuff. Well, that's a nice. Ooh, it's a dripstone cave. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Yeah, this is this is actually really nice. Let's hop back up here for a minute because this is a pretty spectacular view. Right, just over there was the cherry blossoms, but this is a really nice valley with a dripstone cave in there. That could be super nice. This might not be a bad place to set up a base, I think. I'll have to think about it. I gotta see if I can find a village first. Yeah, it's honestly the pricing is about what Twitter decided to charge, but it's a little, that's a little steep, especially when it's been free for a long time. But the other issue with it is that um, Reddit's native tools for like moderation are pretty bad, I guess. I mean, I've, I've, the one, uh, I ha used to have music free gaming Reddit communities um, that were pretty much unused, so I shut them down. But the moderation tools are not ideal. So if you've got a large community, I could see some of those apps, that's what they were, that's what they specialized in. And yeah, so it's like, yep, yeah, if we're going to have to pay $20 million a year or something to make this work, yeah, we'll just shut it down. And I don't think that's going to be good for for anybody. Okay, so... This isn't too bad, I guess? I don't know, where, can I still see the... No, I can't. Okay. That's fine. Hang on. Where was I? Okay, this way. I want to stay on top of these hills. Get enjoy the the better view. So yeah, I ultimately I said I think Reddit is is uh, I don't know that they're going to walk back the decision, but I think they're going to want to. Uh, they may reconsider their pricing. On the other hand, Reddit's one of the biggest sites on the internet, so for social uh social media so you know they might get away with it oh yeah some of the that waterfall was really cool yeah i i love that valley there so i may have to said come back this way and oh look at this check this out just came over the hill and Got ourselves a village with a church on top of a hill. Okay. Okay, this is cool. And the village bridges the river. Oh, this could be really nice. Really nice. We got a cave there. We're in a meadow. That could be fun, I suppose. Uh, but this is... This is sweet. I might... I don't know if I'm going to make this my new home, but I, no, I take that back. I am going to make this my new home for now. I don't know if it's going to be permanent, but I think this is going to be a really nice place to live. Assuming I can get down this hill safely. What is this? Okay, this should just be, is this just all river? Yeah, it's all river. Okay, cool. Hi. Hi. Cats, we got, did I hear it drown? Oh no, it's just the squid dying. Okay, cool. All right, nice. So I think what I might want to do, because this is right on the river. I think first thing I want to do is pillage. Because, you know, <laughs> that's just the thing you do. Just grab all of their foods for me. They don't need food. Yeah, looting is fun. Yeah, that's right. We'll just loot and... Oh. 
We'd like to peek in here. Nothing in there. Okay. I am thinking of taking over that church that was on the hill, though. Ooh. Nice. So. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What was... Is there a house over there? There is. All right. Let's go take a look. Yeah, the churches are, are nice. The other nice thing about the churches is they're stone and they don't burn. On the other hand, in uh, Going Solo Season 2, oh, all the food. I love the food. Give me the food. Um, in Going Solo Season 2, I took over a house sort of like this right next to a cliff and built my base into the cliff. Okay, that doesn't seem safe. So, you know, that's uh, definitely a possibility. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the books ended up, but... Ooh, there's a cleric. Perfect. That means potions. And cats. I like cats. So... Okay, I think one of the first things I'm going to need to do then is lock a couple of these villagers in a uh, in a house to keep them safe. I don't know if I... I think I checked that house. All right, let's meander up here and see what we got. You know, their road system leaves a lot to be desired. Okay. Okay, so we've got ourselves... The, yep, that thing. Okay, I think... That's right. <laughs> we are going to have ourselves an iron farm. Okay, I think this is going to be... I think this might be okay. This is definitely a good place to start, but... Let's... um. On the other hand, I think, yeah, I think we can base here for a little while. But there was that valley that I'd really like to get back to that was just over there, I think. <clears throat> so that might be good. Ooh, nitwit. Lovely. I like making uh, villager breeders using nitwits because you can't really use them for anything else. Nitwits are only useful for breeding. That's true in Minecraft, and that's true for life. Oh, goody. You guys get in there. I'm going to lock you in. Okay. Cool. So I now have... I have villagers. I also have no way of getting down. Sweet. Alright, so let's go ahead and hijack one of these houses here. This isn't a bad little valley, though, either. Okay, you know what? I'm taking this bed. <clears throat> but yeah, quad iron farm. Though, honestly, a dual iron farm pretty well meets my iron needs. Oh, yeah, with 12 beds instead of 6. Yeah. Well, I made one um, when I was in Roguecraft that was eight. Didn't work as well as it should have because I didn't I didn't get them vertically spaced far enough apart. But I wanted an iron farm that I could use to uh, feed feed the server if I wanted to. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Um, let's grab the crafting table and let's grab a boat. So wasn't a call you wanted to get. Oh, hopefully it wasn't too bad. All right. So where's the, okay. So there's a river right over there. All right. 
let's um oh yeah yeah the the iron ch to emerald trade is really nice actually all right so which way was that was this way beets potatoes carrots i don't need beets beetroot but Let's see so that's the village um i was sort of back kind of where, where did i come from dogs got out again oh no oh no the dog bit the kid that sucks that sucks i hope everyone's okay with the kid wasn't hurt too badly and oh man that's not cool at all. All right. So I came from over here, right? Because I was dumb and didn't write down the coordinates. Um, right. I'm going to... Ah, cheese monkeys. Okay. Oh, right. And yeah, a lot of places, once you have a dog that bites, they'll totally uh, get you. All right, hang on a sec. I'm going to write this coordinates down. 640 by minus 444. Okay, cool. Note taken. <laughs> All right, because I, I, I should have taken the coordinates of that valley, because that would have been... Because I think I do. I think I want to set my base up in that valley. Because that just looked so cool. It was so pretty. There with that dripstone cave. Oh, man. All right. I think. Yeah, I remember. I think I remember this. I think. Come here, come here, pig. Pigs don't have more hit points than cows. Why can't I kill you as quickly? All right. So where was that? All righty. Was it, um, was that it? I think it was the other side of that hill there. Okay. <sighs> Ouch. All right, so let's... I killed the baby's mother. Yep, I did. It will probably grow up and be vindictive. It'll enter the nether, join the piglin hordes, and we're all going to have problems. Ooh, there's the, there's the dark oak forest. All right, now was this... I remember being here. Also, let's uh, hit the right things. All right, so I think what I need to do, let's see. Up a this way? Up and up and up and up and up. Because I was not smart and, because that, that valley was so cool. All right, let's get back up to the top of the hill. Maybe I can, find find it again because it was it looked so amazing it wasn't this because it, it didn't have trees oh i don't have bones to feed the dog but i'm going to leave him alone because i really don't want to tick off a wolf pack okay because i think was it i want to say it was around Somewhere? All right, I've I've done lost it. I lost it. I lost the cool ballot. Oh. So welcome to Wandering Wind Minecraft. This is going to be a super short episode, yeah. Done having pets? Yeah. I don't want to be done having pets, but I think when my 
cat dies, we're not getting another one. Because they are awesome and amazing, but they just, I just don't, I'm not going to be able to deal with having them around. Aside from the fact that I'm actually allergic to them. Um, it was, uh, okay, right, so there's the village. Right, and I remember coming over this hill. But we're also wanting to travel and stuff once we get some more of our finances settled after the kids leave. So we might, and traveling is hard when you have pets. Ah. Glad I'm not ultra hardcore because, you know, I, I don't know that I can handle taking damage from falling. Now, oh, I jumped off two blocks. Ow. All right. So it was up. Was it up this way? Uh, the process is going. Oh, yes. I think this is it. Is it? No. Um, it's going. So we should, the contractors, I think, are supposed to be back up at the house this week. Uh, my wife is sort of the, their point of contact, so I haven't uh, uh, talked to them specifically yet. But hopefully six weeks and they'll have it done and I can start talking to property managers and get it rented. At least that's the plan. All right. I want to find that cool valley again. Anybody want to scrub back in the VOD and uh, figure out where it was? Because it was cool and I would like to have it. Or maybe. Oh, no, this is it. This is it right here. Huh. Never mind. We found it. Right. With this weird crown on top of the hill okay cool ah oh, so yeah it's um so there is a mortgage on it um but it's not ridiculous we paid off the original mortgage but we had to get a, a mortgage for the uh repairs to pay for the renovations so yeah so that's We've got to get that paid off. It's not ridiculous, but, um, and the rent should cover it nicely. But yeah, speaking of adult things, okay. Ooh, 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 let's. So I'm back at that cool valley I found earlier. I think I am going to go ahead and set up camp here. I, I this is, I want to base in this valley. It is awesome, but it looks like we've got ourselves, ooh we got ourselves some caves going on down here, some nice deep scariness, I guess. Okay, so I think the next step is to dig myself a little uh, hobbit hole, and then, then I need to go get my, get some villagers over here and start doing you know, survival things. Ah, oh, this is nice. Okay. Yeah, adult things like paying your own rent and mortgage. Yeah. That's right, and advanced is having somebody else do it for you. Yeah. Well, it kind of sucks, because as until the... Okay. Yeah, we're basically... Well, we're, we're basically pay, paying a couple thousand a month on the mortgage. And rent, we can get, like, three, but it's going to be seriously a hassle just to get it all in. But, all right, so, step one, where am I? 527 minus 149. So the base is going to be there. It's all about that base, I've been told. All right, so looks like we're right here on a river. So is the village. So 
might be able to just bust, uh, let's don't tick off the bees. We may be able to just bust those uh, villagers over here and that'll be really easy. In fact, I might even, I might even be able to, I don't know if I want to, but I might be, even build the iron farm over that stretch of river. That would be cool. Um, a little bit of both, JS. <laughs> a little bit of both. <sighs> Sadly. Yeah, we had to get like 145k loan in order to, to uh, pay for the th renovations. All right, so now, okay, there's some coal, which is good. Let's, uh, I think what I'm going to do, is that a cave there? It is. All right. Try not to get too cheaty with free cam, but it's a, just a little bit of planning goodness. So I think what I want to do is get some coal so I can make some torches. And it would be nice to find a pre-existing cave so I don't have to uh, dig one. But I did like that village. That was a nice village. Oh, hey. Um, get rid of that. I've got plenty of dandelions. Okay. So. Oh. No, 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 no. No. You, no. This is a no. You and I, we are not going to dance today. My, my dance card is full, and you are not on it. No. Go. Go be flee me somewhere else. <sighs> Stupid zombies. All right. But I think... I think I've got lots of nonsense. Let's get rid of that. And... Let's torch it up. And see what... Because I think that zombie came out of this cave. On the other hand, this is getting... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this isn't too bad. This isn't where I'd really want to... Spend my season, I think? Oh, scary. Ah, scary, scary. But, oh, I've got some dripstone. This is good. Right, which I knew. There's got the dripstone cave. Okay. So this is good. There's some emerald, which is okay, I guess. Um, let's see what's up this. Okay, this might be... This might actually be good enough to just set up a camp for a couple of days. I don't know. All right. Well, not ideal, but... Because really, I'd like to base in that uh, thing, so... But this would kind of work. Fortunately, there's a lot of caves over here, and I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to have this much scariness right by my base, you know? Hey, Sprite! Welcome, welcome! Glad to have you here. Alright. This isn't too bad. Let's, let's see what's over... Not that way. Right, there was... I saw another... thought I saw another cave. Is it this way? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, that's not a cave. That's a hole in the wall. Fair enough. All right. So now that those are safe... Um, yeah, where would I like to set, set up base over here? It would have been nice, just because it's 1.20, to have set up in a cherry blossom forest. 
but I think I could plant some cherry blossoms up there and it would look cool. I think I want to set up over there. Yeah, because I there are a couple of ways I could do this. I mean, I could... Part of me is tempted to build sort of into this. But I also kind of like the idea of being over here. Hey, no worries. No worries. It's going to going to do a thing for 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 Amanda. Gotcha. Right on her update server. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Doing things. Uh, doing things is cool. All right. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm going to set up Oh, if I set up there it's Drop Creeper Central though. And I don't want Drop Creeper Central. This is the hardest part. Because I'm not going to move into a village, now I actually have to build a house. Alright. Before I decide to build a house over here, and I, I really should, um, let's check out this Dripstone Cave, see what this is like, and hopefully it's not going to kill us. It's open to the sky. That's kind of... Ooh, yes, yes, death is going to come for me if I stay in this cave too much. So, let's uh, drop a torch or two down and find some place else that's not in this cave to live, shall we? Yes, yes, let's, let's shout, shall, yes. <sighs> so, welcome back, Iguana. All right, so I think because this, honestly... Whew, that's a might scary down there too. All right, I think because of just the way this valley looks, I'm going to come set up shop up here. And it's a, it's a cool area. It's going to have a great view of the valley. And I think this is going to be awesome. So... Let's we'll set up shop right up here. Ooh, yeah. It's climbing one of the turrets. All right, so. Yeah, I think this is going to be really cool just to, to build up. Right, look at this. Just to build up on top of here and then have this view out over this valley. And if I start planting some cherry grow, cherry blossoms and stuff out there, Nice. Okay. Oh, hey, and there are cherry blossoms right there. Oh, I, that's the that's the backside of that cliff with the stupid village. Okay. I know exactly where I am. Cool. So let's build... And the kid is a DFS kid. Oh, right. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, good luck. I hope everything is uh works out without causing too much pain and and suffering. All right. So, I am going to So, let's do some stuff here. Let's uh let's do our bit for the the world, I suppose, and Oh, I want to plant. Yeah, we've got plenty of trees there. Oh, I do want to get some, some of these plants. Oh, man. All right. Of course, getting up and down this hill is going to be a problem too. So, but I really like this view. So we're, we're absolutely going to be building here. Fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. So let's just plant some trees. Um, we've got those. Sure. Gra grab some birch. And oh, some oak. All right. Nice. And then we're going to have to go caving a little bit because I'm going to need some stone and stuff. But on the plus side, got a place up here where we can 
We can totally sleep and it's going to be safe. Right? Sure. All of the safety happens here. <sighs> All right. So I'm not worried about saving my spawn point because it's hardcore. <sighs> All right. Is that? Yeah, I guess that's safe enough to get down. I mean, look at this mountain. Oh, it warms my little dwarven heart. Oh, it does. It does. And it was, I think it was right over here were the caves. So, yeah. In fact. All right. So, let's. Let's work our way back down here. Um, I'm definitely going to need to craft a better way up, but. You know, honestly, I'm kind of thinking that what I might do. Oh, because this does look so cool. That is going to have to go. But. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm just sort of planning out where do I want to put things, important things like I. Okay, ouch. But important things like an iron farm and a stuff like that. And I don't know. But the, on the plus side, I think, yeah, this area was, I made safe these caves. So as much as I, yeah, all right, fine. We'll do it here. It's going to be a little bit of a pain, but it'll be okay. So, as much as it pains me to not start with a house on that hill, I'm going to just build myself a little uh, a little safety bunker back here. This is all safe. I don't have to worry about mobs coming in on me. And I can start worrying about all the fun stuff, like building new things with cherry planks and building an iron farm, right? All the stuff that warms my, my wee little heart. All right, so let's see. Do I remember when pork chops filled the hunger bar? I actually don't. All right, how do I want to put this in? I've been playing Minecraft for a while, but not that long. Okay, so I'm going to, I think, it's, actually, you know what? Because I think I've got this all, let's double check here. Let's double check. I think this one, did this actually go all the way around to the outside? I think it did. Okay. So that goes around to the outside, and, uh, Oh, yeah, when there is no hunger bar at all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're showing your age in the game there, Sprite. I, I... Okay. So what I'm going to do here is let's... We're just going to build ourselves a nice little... Nice little house here. Oh, you know what? Let's widen it even. How's it going there, Roman? Welcome, welcome. I hope your day is going well. And put a torch there, but I'm not going to keep these logs here. All right, so this will be a, a fairly reasonable starting spot. It's a little... It's going to be a little janky, I think, but it shouldn't be too bad. I think I'll... said once I start getting um, figuring out where I'm going to get villagers and hopefully I'll be actually be able to live long enough for this world to grow and be cool but I don't know we'll see I hardcore and I do not have the uh, greatest of relationships here so we'll we'll see um, yeah seems a little funky but we'll do it Alright, um, let's 
crafting table. Cool, because I do need a door. All right, you know, because doors are useful. And let's, let's see, I don't really have anything else good to build with. So I do have chests, so, so that's great. Um, let's see, let's, I, I, you know what, I'm just going to, we'll go really, really cheesy here for now. Um, you know, we'll just slap down some cobble. Ah, yes, the deaths to the, the su surprise creeper and killer baby zombie. Yeah. That, that zombie had it in for me, man. All right, now, as I recall, this side is safe. I should take that water out. Yeah, this side was safe. Okay, cool. I'm going to leave it there for a minute, though. I do have 39 iron, so I actually have enough I can make an iron bucket. Which is definitely a good thing. All right, so let's, um, yeah, let's just come from here. Let's grab some of that uh, lovely, some of this lovely cherry, cherry wood, right? Because nothing says secret bunker like uh, pink planks. Still, cherry. All right, so that's going to be there. Let's, uh, some windows and stuff would be nice too, but for now, also, a number of things would be nice, but that's okay. We've got ourselves lovely doors and I suppose I could keep with the same theme all right so now I am safe I don't like being in this particular part of the valley but this is this will be a nice survival bunker bunker bonker it's bonkers that I'm here. I don't know. Ooh. But, yeah. Ah, that one emerald. It can stay there. Alright, I mean, it's, it's nice. But. Oh, cherry logs and crimson planks. Oh, yes, they do. They look really good. The other thing that looks really good are the uh, cherry and deep slate. That looks really nice. Go back to some of my... Uh, I did a snapshot video playing with some of the palette a while back. And yeah, that was, that was super awesome. Lots of copper. Which isn't going to help me much in uh, vanilla. Okay. So. Ooh, dinner. Dinner's good. All right, so let's go ahead and craft up a furnace because we'll probably want one. Let's just dump a bunch of this flowery, foody goodness. Um, and I've got... I have a golden hoe. So... Okay, nice. So that's going to be useful. Good, and I was able to craft up a singular bucket. Which isn't great, but hey, it's better than nothing. How many people are watching? I don't know. Suppose I could use that one iron ingot and make a shovel. I don't know. Oh, right. Let's put away those other flowers. Okay, on the plus side, I, have sh I do have sugar cane. And... I definitely have food sources. I've got veggies and I've got carrots and stuff. So, so I'm going to need to, to create a number of things. But what would be really nice is let's uh, let's cook a little food here, shall we? 
<laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, numbers are good and all, but most of the time, not that big a deal. All right, so let's talk about what's on the list of things to do because I do have a list of things to do, right? Early game stuff, it's pretty straightforward. One, I think it's going to be to get rid of that water, but do so in a nice and, you know, safe way because I don't want to get, totally get rid of the water. We'll uh, conserve. Yes, that's right. Water conservation is going to be the name of the game here. Ta-da! Okay. You make weird voices when you're happy. Yeah. That, uh, there's a lot of that going around. Okay. Nice. So, what we have... Darkness. And a bed. Cool. So... That can live there. I actually should probably clean out maybe a little more space for some for other storage. And I... Okay. So let's take a look at some stick technology, first of all. Let's craft up some signs. And a bit. I should totally rotate those doors now that I'm thinking about it. So, rotate them so they're, when they're closed, they're actually open. And that confuses the heck out of zombies. And I am okay with that. Alright. Cool, because zombies, when they're... I do like the new wood sounds. Zombies, when they... Uh, think a door is open won't do a thing to it but when it's closed they'll try to break it down and uh, I would really appreciate it if they did not break my door down okay yeah nice all right and I've got some dripstone right here which is perfect I need to get some iron for a cauldron and stuff so let's Darn it, I was, should have kept an eye on that so I could have got the, uh, some of that pork cooked, too. All right. So, let's... Let's talk things to do, because obviously I have stuff I need to get done. So, one thing I'm going to need is food. I need a good food source. So, probably a carrot farm. Uh, I'm going to need a villager breeder. And I'm going to need an iron farm. All right. That is the, uh, that is the list of things to do. <laughs> it's, uh, I think I can make this work, right? Sure. Shouldn't be too bad. And I've got some room here I can dig out for a little carrot patch or something. And that'll, that'll keep me going for a while. And then I need to figure out where I want to put the villager breeder and where the iron farm is going to go. So, this is going to be fun. Let's, I'm actually up a little high to get iron. I have to dig down. Fortunately, I'm in a cave. I'm actually in a meadow. So, there could be a significant amount of iron lying around if I dig down a little bit. Oh. Uh, I miss my tools. It's a drawback. Every time I drop back into a new vanilla world, uh, or any new Minecraft world, it's like, okay, I have to do dig it. How fast now? Please, I can has efficiency five. Please? I want the efficiency five diamond tools. Because stone tools suck. Seriously. They're not good. I want better. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we'll clean out an area here. And it doesn't have to be super big, but large enough that I can 
definitely get some uh, crops in place. They should make copper. They do. Or do you mean villagers or copper tools? It's like, it's like I know copper's here. It's a thing. I've I've seen it. Okay. So I don't think this is going to be too bad. I've got 24 blocks. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to start right here. That's going to be where our water is going to go. And thanks to that portal, I have a hoe. Okay, a gold hoe is not fabulous, but it's not that big a deal either. All right, so we'll just dig out a little bit this way. And. Okay, hey, and I did not accidentally replace the water source, so go me. Copper tools, yeah. Yeah, a lot of potential there for copper tools. It would be nice. Okay. Now I'm going to need to be sure I've got lights over this stuff too, but oh right, the ability to edit signs is so nice, right? I just come over here and boom, edit sign. Oh, that should have been a thing years ago. Oh, so many years ago that should have been a thing. Yeah. The problem with copper is it actually makes really lousy tools. So it'd actually be more along the lines of gold, I see, probably, as far as like durability and stuff. <sighs> but, oh hey, I still have my wooden pickaxe, y'all. I suppose what I could do. I'm gonna throw the wooden pickaxe in there. We're gonna grab this, uh, Oh, I thought I had pork. I guess. Oh, I did have pork. Okay. We're going to cook up those pork chops and uh, they'll be wonderful. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, seriously. Redstone stuff would be amazing. Um, to... Okay. I think that'll be reasonable. Let's... Um... Let's give ourselves a trap door because it's pretty. All right. And golden hoe. <sighs> I mean, I could have found worse tools and stuff there, but not by much. Okay, so I have three carrots. That's not ideal. But, hey, uh, you can't grow them if you don't plant them. So, we'll start there. I've And actually, I have plenty of... I've got bread, so I'm not doing too bad. You thought you were the only one to use old wood tools? No, that's a fairly common Minecrafty thing. Yeah, it would be kind of nice to be able to use copper tools to, like, build... Like, Vanilla Tweaks has, um, like, a redstone wrench... That would be kind of fun. All right, so I've got some potatoes. We'll let those grow. And let's get the bread. Now, it would be really nice would be to have iron and stuff for um, hoppers and things, but... Okay. Let's see. So what's going to be a priority for a moment? That's going to grow... I do need to dig and get iron, but let's figure out where I want to put the villager breeder. Because that's going to be sort of cool. Of course, I planted all my trees up there. That was smart. All right, I think what I want to do... This actually might be kind of cool. If I build the villager breeder here... One, it'll be close enough to the ocean that it won't be too bad, or to this river, it won't be too bad bringing the villagers over. And 
then on top of that, on top of that, um, you know, I, I could actually build out, build out the iron farm oh, somewhere, someplace where golems are, no, no, you are not part of this game. No, no, this is not how this works. You, no, this is this is a non-pillager zone. Okay. So that's not good. <laughs> There's all sorts of not good happening right there. I don't have a bow. I don't have armor. I mean, this is this is not not fabulous. And I need to go up that hill to pick up my trees. All right, that honey is so squishy. I'd actually like to, wouldn't mind getting some honey bottles, but. Okay, well, let's get some. Yeah, fight, fight, fight. No! I don't want to fight. No, oh, this will be great because I could. Um, I want to live. I don't want to. Oh. Okay. This little stretch of forest here. Um, okay. Yeah, I've got an axe. What more do I need? Armor. Armor is what I need. A bow would be awesome too. Um, yeah. All of that would be fabulous. Also, well, there are cows here. I guess I can cure a bad omen if I were to get it, but what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Oh, no, nothing. Ow. That, that's just tingly and not in a good way. All right. Well, we'll just, uh, Okay, so, well, that's, so I'm safe for the moment. Let's, uh, this might be a bad idea, but let's start digging. Maybe I can dig up a, some iron, because I am going to need iron for um, hoppers for the iron farm, and, whew. That doesn't look safe at all. That, that, that's, uh, that doesn't, there's nothing here. Considered fire. Yeah. Oh, well, that is definitely a cave. I mean, there's a dripstone cave, like crazy, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, fire is good. I like fire, but. Ooh, I do not like this. Okay. So. Okay. Let's, um. I'm going to do it this way. Let's, uh. Not go straight into that cave. I don't think there's a spawner there. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah, seriously, OSHA approved. Well, they'll, they're, we're not going to... Right, you can't fall down here accidentally. That's... And that's fine. Um, I mean, I do have enough... I can make more torches. That's... But... Let's, uh... uh let's meander down here and just be safe, huh? Yeah, because if I get... So the good news is I could steal some beds from the village, right? Because I need I need three beds for the villagers, for the breeder. Now, I could do something like Impulse's uh, combined iron farm and villager breeder. But honestly, I'm totally not, not totally into that. Also, if somebody wants to look up, I forgot, what is the the ideal uh, 
Y level for iron. Is it, uh, I was thinking it was down, but I, it's, I, I don't know. They changed all the levels around. I never did learn what they, the new ones were. No, it's 50, minus 59. That's not iron. That's diamond <laughs> and redstone, which I also love. Love me some redstone. 52. Okay. Minus 59. What are you trying to do to me, Sprite? I mean, yes, I want diamond, but I need di you can't make hoppers out of diamond. Uh, it's right above deep slate. So, uh, ugh. And also, ugh. All right. No, 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 that's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it, it is... All right. So, hey, I've... Do you know, I've got uh, Tweakaroo. So that gives me some... Peaky, peaky goodness. Okay, um... All right, this is, uh, this is gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. And this might be a one episode series. But, uh, okay, no, no. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is totally fine. Caving is, is the safest thing in Minecraft. There's nothing safer than wandering around dark caves. Um, absolutely nothing. I, I'm not at all scared. No, it's I'm not totally um, scared. Yes, I, I'm totally scared. And I don't... Uh, is this, is this going to be safe? I don't know. But... Aha! It's safe! Woohoo! Safe! Okay. Now I can keep going down this way. Ugh. All right, here we go. So, yeah. Um, so, oh, that offset block thing? That is Tweakaroo, and I forgot what the uh, command was. I'll have to look it up, but it's... Oh, hey, we're safe here, too. Perfect. Yeah, it's, um... Mods. Um, tweakaroo. Hotkeys. Divide key. It's, um, flexible placement offset. And there's also a place flexible placement rotation. So, yeah. So that's what that is. Okay. Ah, but there's some iron down here. Not a lot of iron, but some. A lot of copper down here, though. That's good. Okay. Whew. I mean, the two things of iron is not going to be a lot, obviously. So, let's... uh keep going. Did we ever get a ruling on what on the uh, deep, on the uh, uh, iron level? Was it at, down at zero? Because, you know, that would make some semblance of sense to somebody or other. Let's just turn on the light overlays. Yeah. Oh, um, just for those of you who care, right? I use Mini HUD, Tweakaroo, Item Scroller, right? Those types of things. Um, and they're awesome and amazing, and I love them. Right above Deep Slate. Okay. Uh, there isn't an official release yet, but if you go, if you visit the uh, uh, the Discord that they've got, 
the Masa Mods Discord. Uh, there are some unofficial builds for 1.20, which are awesome, and I love them. All right, yeah. So right above Deep Slate. So that's going to put me down way down here. Doesn't help that I started in a mountain, you know? Y15, okay. Yeah, I mean, I can get down here. Um, It's, no, what is it? Hang on, let me double check my Discord. It's the Masa, M-A-S-A -S modding. I can't remember how I found it. I think it might actually be linked if you go to the, um, like, maybe the mini HUD page on uh, CurseForge or um, Modrinth, I think there's probably a link to the Discord there. I think that's how I found it. Ooh, iron. Sweet. Oh, sweet. I've got enough I can make a hopper. Oh, this is wonderful. This is a big iron vein. Okay, yeah. Okay, sweet. So I can build that, and I can build a cauldron. So I know where there's lava. Okay, sweet. So I can get infinite lava. Oh, this is perfect. Um, What is a cauldron? I, I should actually make a shield, too. Cauldron spelled with a U, isn't it? Where did they put it? That's not in the blocks. It's over here. Oh, really? It, it's got to be here. So, probably because I don't have actual iron. I thought I unlocked all of the... Fine. I'll have to craft the iron first. Okay, so... Sweet. Because an infinite lava source would be really nice. Uh, just as furnace fuel and all that good stuff. Oh, right. Crafting table, of course. Okay. So here's about Y16. The other thing is if I were smart, I'd be maybe trying to dig this in the same direction as the village. It's a little far away from it, I suppose, but I don't have coal. That's gonna have to come have to come back up here and get that. Yeah, seven for a cauldron plus five for a hopper. Which is fine. That I can I can have that. I've got twelve, so that's enough. But I need one for a shield, I think. So I'm actually one short. If I want to play that game. Okay, there's some coal over there. Alright, so let's go turn those off. But yeah, so step one, I really should. Yeah, okay. Yep, and I did. I used all of the coal. Smooth. Smoothest of smooth. Okay. We'll just do it this way. I think I only need... Do I need two? I think so. Yeah, seven for a cauldron, five for a hopper. Which is five plus seven is twelve. So... Oh, no, it's age seven is fully grown. Darn it. All right, so that's going to... Okay. Good, so we'll let that continue to cook. Um, well, it's seven for a cauldron and five for a hopper. Right? Come on, give me... 
jeez. Um, yeah. So, I can't spell. I don't know why I can't spell cauldron. There it is. Yeah, so right, seven for that. And then the hopper, right? Which I don't have a, come on. It's in the redstone, right? It's easy. Hopper, right? Five, boom. Yep. Seven, five is 12. But, um, all right, so I'm going to need to do a couple of things. Let's craft up another axe. Let's go see about getting some. Actually. Yeah, I need the charcoal, but. Okay. I suppose I could build a second furnace. It's not like I don't have furnace making technology. Heck, I have a blast furnace. Right, just right there. That I found in that village. That's going to cook stuff up fast. So, sweet. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, well, I didn't forget it. It's... But, yeah, I do still need one more iron for that. Sadly, there weren't any armorers or anything in that other village. But, it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to need... All right, let's... Let's say five for the hopper, because I'm... Oh, I had one more iron. That's right, I found from the nuggets. Sweet. Okay, shield. Perfect, because I'm going to want that. All right. So. All right, cool. So I've got now... Oh, I feel a little bit better about life. I forgot. Yeah, because I found all of those nuggets in the um, in the the portal. All right, let's get up here and get my trees because that was stupid planting them up there. Because I can't reach them up there. <laughs> They're really high. But they're going to look cool. Oh. Nope. I don't care what you're selling. I don't want it. No, no. We could do totally without whatever the mobs are. All right. Let's get up here. We'll get some more wood. And then we can start thinking long and hard about uh, getting a villager breeder built. Okay. Oh, cherry trees are huge, by the way. Just to, in case you hadn't noticed that. <laughs> these, these, uh, these cherry trees have got a little bit of, uh, you get a lot of wood for, from them, which is not bad. All right. Get them all? Yeah. Okay. Nice. I, I actually have some cherry blossoms as well. Um, picked those up in the forest, so... I can... So this is good. Yeah. Well, trees in Minecraft. Yeah, they're definitely good size, which I like. Okay. Let's see if I can get a few more. Because actually it would be fun just to get... Build a new uh, little cherry grove. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Each block is a meter cubed. So. Which, uh, I forgot who did the, somebody did the math on how strong the, the Minecraft character would have to be. Right, if you were to load up the zillion and a half shulker boxes, right? Um, the 35, 36 shulker boxes you can carry full of 
cobblestone or gold or whatever they had that was like super heavy. Um, and yeah, that's just crazy. Um, you cannot do a two by two tr uh, cherry tree. Sadly. All right. In all honesty, I don't think it's going to matter. Packed ice? What about packed ice? I'm actually high, high enough up. I could actually build a uh, farm. But let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just slap these cherry blossoms down out this way a little bit. Packed ice is the heaviest. So I'm thinking gold. Gold blocks. I think the, I think the density of gold is higher, but I could be wrong. It's it's been a while since I've cared. All right. Now let's uh, while those trees grow, let's think about our villager breeder, and the breeder. One pack dies can hold eighty four water buckets. Yeah, netherite block. Okay, I could see that. But you do the math on how heavy one of those blocks are, and you get you fill a shulker, which is right, 27 stacks of each of those blocks, and you can carry 36 shulkers. That's a little insane, I think. So I'm going to turn block sounds down a little bit. Just really loud in my ear. I don't know if it's loud for you, but it's definitely loud for me. Hey, welcome, welcome. What's that? Juliana? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yes. Happy bees. Let's do not cheese off the bees. I do not need bee cheesing to be on the way to die in this world. I would feel really, really stupid if I died to bees. My hardcore world ended because I smacked the wrong bee. Man, that would not be the way to go. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Yeah, so let's, while we're waiting, let's craft another shovel. A couple of shovels, I guess. Okay, yes, it would make a great clip, but I would like this. I really do want to try to get to that uh, that 100 days in Minecraft. I'm on day 8, you know? 100 days in Hardcore. Okay. So, oh, good. Tree grew already. Nice. Okay. Every stack is, yeah, 53,000 blocks of water. Yeah. Oh, cheese monkeys. No, 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 no. No, I, no, I thought I told you this already. No, y'all are not allowed. Not even a little bit. You guys can die to the bees. All right, let's go see if what I've got in the way of cowardice. Um... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not scared. No. Okay. Got a bucket. I have no armor. If one of them shoots me, I'm dead. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, on the plus side, I'm getting some potatoes. Which is fine. Um... All right, you know what? Because I could use the fuel. And I might end up living on baked potatoes for a while. Let's uh, see. Where would be a good spot for a, for a lava farm? Yeah, that, that would be a lot. On the other hand, I don't know. 
All right, so let's see. If I want to, I want to put the lava over here. Now, I do have to be careful not to burn down my front door, but, oh. Yes, um, hello there. That's, uh, that looks totally safe. That totally safe there. Wonder why that didn't play. It should play. Oh, there's no product with that name, right? Yeah, coal is cool though. Yes, there is that. Okay, so yeah, that that would explain it. Groovy. There we go. <laughs> It works. All right, so we've got some of these. So let's go ahead. I'm going to craft up the cauldron. And I know where I can get some lava. And very fortunately, I'm at the very edge of a dripstone cave. So I can actually just grab some dripstone here. And it wasn't super quiet. Yep. I did try to get all of those fixed, you know, so that they were dripstone there. That goes there. This goes here. And now let's get, um, all right, fine. Grab some slabs. And we'll just run some slabs across here. I don't remember if I updated the site now that I think about it. I changed, if you just had exclamation point buy, it'll show all of the product names. I think I changed them a little bit when I put them into YouTube and I don't know that I actually updated anything. There you go. Um, okay, sweet. So now, Let's go. We're going to go on a slight adventure. I hope. Not that way. This way. We're going to go out the back door. There we go. Okay, this way. Yep, it'll get there eventually. Sadly, the it's a little bit slower, unfortunately, picking up the commands from uh, YouTube than it is from, when it was from Twitch. All right, let's go grab some lava. Oh, look, hey, there's lava right here. Oh, this is so much easier. All right, well, I'm just going to grab some lava. I actually need... Well, I actually just need one. I need an infinite lava source, but I'm going to need lava for the iron farm. So let's get that out of the hot bar, because the last thing I want to do is set myself ablaze. And uh, we'll see if this works. Well, actually, I know it's going to work. But it'll be nice to have the, uh, the iron. Well, the iron farm, but the lava for the farm, lava for fuel. It's all going to be wonderful. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know why. I'm not seeing the uh, chat messages show up in MIU. I think it's just running really slow. <laughs> you love this series. Yeah. Say we take off. There it goes. Say we take off. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. Yes, there we go. We got it in stereo. We got it. Yeah, it's like MIU was just really slow picking up the, the chat. It is sadly a... Uh, problem with being on YouTube. Ah, sweet. Okay. Infinite lava, here we come. Actually, let's uh see, there are a couple more. Yeah. Oh, perfect. What was that? That was That was a quote from the movie Aliens. 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, YouTube chat is just not good. Oh, I suppose I should wait till I have the iron to build a cauldron there. Okay. Oh, so we jumped out a window. Oh, look, there it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. All the fun. All right. Cool. So now I've got lava. Um, sweet. So I guess the next thing I'm going to need to do. Uh, wait for all of this, these carrots to grow. But. How about a nice game of chess? <laughs> so. The we jumped out a window was Baymax from Big Hero Six, and uh, the chess was from the movie War Games, which was a really, it's a really old movie at this point, which is sad because I saw it when I was a kid. Okay, so we got ourselves some drippy drippy happening with the lava, which is great. So we'll let that fill. Um, okay. All right. Important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. <laughs> yes. So much safety that needs to happen. All right. So what I'm going to need is more iron if I can get it, which will be down here somewhere. Okay, because, yeah, if I can get down to, because I think you're right. If you're sitting around 14 or something like that, you're also in uh, prime territory for gold and stuff, too. Yep, so, yep. So anybody in chat can use the... The buy commands. There is a cooldown on them, so you don't go like super crazy. But yeah. Shall we play a game? There we go. Um. Okay. I need. I need a coal. Right. I left charcoal up here. Right. Because I I do in fact want to be able to light up these tunnels so I don't die because that would be bad. No, nah, no, nah, we got this. We got this. It, it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm telling you, we're going to be okay. It's just nothing at all scary about this. I kind of want to free cam in there and take a peek at that tunnel. Um. Oh, I don't... I don't feel good about Seeing this. Seeing you alive brings warm feelings to my heart. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's big over there. Okay. Yeah, I want that coal. I don't know that I want to scare myself with this. All right. I have a shield. What could go wrong? There's nothing possibly scary over here. All right. Um, okay, that's going to go there. Oh, hey, this is actually not too bad. Okay. All right, cool. So I can grab this coal. This is going to be awesome. Our situation has not improved. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm excited. I'm... The new Indiana Jones movie looks so awesome. Oh, I am so psyched to see that. Oh. Huh. This is a nice little underground uh, river lake thing. Aquifer. Okay, look at all of that. Oh, that's copper over there. Okay. Wow. 
All right. Cool. And then, yeah, this goes on that way a little ways. So. Ooh, we. Yeah, some of those were new ones from the last time. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Dying said I, I'm a big fan of not dying when I'm playing in hardcore. Okay, but I've got coal. It's night out. Let's sleep. And then I want to, hopefully I was far enough away those pillagers are gone, but. Oh. Hi. That doesn't sound safe at all. We'll let that skeleton uh, burn to death, shall we? Okay, I don't know where he was. Up above, maybe? Okay, well, wherever he was, um, good for him. <laughs> All right, so, I am not seeing, oh, cheese monkeys. Okay, no, 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 no. I, oh, no, that, no, no, you can't scare me like that. No, that's not how this works. Ugh, so scary. Okay, I'm also learning that you I kind of have to spread out these trees quite a bit. But, okay. I have multiple axes. At least if I find another dog, I can... I may be able to tame it. Ugh. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I don't know that I'll ever tackle ultra hardcore. I can't, uh, I can't keep from hurting myself just by walking down a hill. So there is no way I'm gonna try to do ultra hardcore. That no, <laughs> that's there's just nothing about that that sounds safe. Sorry, I just had a freaked out, freak out moment of, is there a creeper sneaking up on me? Which is, you know, always a concern. I do like how the cherry logs look. They look great normal, but they also look really good stripped. But the plain cherry logs, yeah, I mean, they're just a such a nice color. And yeah, putting those things next to crimson and stuff. Oh, it's so good. What I want to do... Actually, this might not be a bad thing. Maybe next next week. Because I think I'm going to be doing the hardcore streams on Thursday. And then create mod on Tuesdays. But I think what I might do... Um, is... Long and hard about things, but I might see if I can go find some bamboo. Because bamboo is an awesome source of wood. Right? Because now that you get bamboo wood, a quick little bamboo farm of some sort would be uh, super helpful. Okay, got it. Hopefully that was the last bit of wood in that tree, because otherwise it's going to be annoying. There are a lot of leaves on these trees. Okay. Ah, oh, need the wood. Yeah, because I think what's going to end up happening is my uh, villagers are going to end up living... Villager breeder's going to be in a pink house. Which I suppose is okay. Alright, well, I'm on day nine, so... That's good. I'm almost 10% of the way through the 100-day challenge. Ooh, all right, cool. Well, let's grab some saplings and I think spread some, spread some of the cherry tree love out here, you know? I'm also beginning to think that cherry trees are an excellent source of wood. 
because they, uh, I mean, other than being a little bit hard to farm, they give you a lot of wood and they do it. Um, and you've got a lot of leaves for saplings when they break down. So that's nice. All right. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm sure everything is going to be fine. We'll just spread these out. The one problem with them is they do spread out a fairly large canopy, which is good for monsters and bad for me. Okay, but... Doing okay so far. So now... Let's take a look here at uh, this for a minute. You don't like the stripped version of the chariot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Pink is not my favorite color in the world either, but... But it looks so good next to the, the deep slate. But yeah, I get you with the uh, the deep purple of the regular cherry logs. Oh yeah, so nice. Okay, so if I... I could actually drop villagers... Maybe down here. Right here in the in the water? That might be a... That might be a, a cool thing. Okay. I've got to cut down this tree, which I suppose... <sighs> don't want to tick off the bees. Um, cause yeah, the, but I, oh, hmm. maybe not. Cause the, the thing about the villager breeder is you need to, you need to get the villagers far enough away from the beds that they let go of them. So that's like 20 blocks. So dropping them down there. Is it going to be great unless I wash them somewhere else? All right, so that's possibility. So what I'm going to need is a nine by nine field for the villagers to um, to be in, right? So they can grab all of their they can farm and do stuff but you gotta be careful about putting it up too high because I do have to get the villagers into it which is a problem um alright where the where the hay man now I do have a couple of places that are up you make me sad <laughs> Yes. Okay, so... All right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so there was all sorts of fun stuff that I liked having it on, on Twitch. I'm glad I can do over here. But yeah, MIU can sometimes just get really slow. All right, so I can bring the villagers into the river here build getting them up is a pain but not I guess it's not too bad if I really give them a, a way to go oh I don't give me ideas I was gonna build my house up there so I could look useless down. empty brain <laughs> yes I was going to build my house up there so I could look out over the valley. So I don't think I want to put the iron farm up there. But, oh, because look at that. It's just so pretty. Um, I'm going to have to go look up the... Uh, uh, look up the spawning space for iron golems again, I think. 
So, because this could be fun too. I could potentially, I have to be sure I dig out all the space. Because that's a pretty wide range that they've got. So, the trick with an iron farm is only giving the golems a, a limited place to spawn. All right, so, right, villager breeder. Quit. You know what? I could just put the villager breeder up there. That's fine. And I could just drop the villagers down here, and it would be cool. Okay. No, sure, that'll hmm, make all the sense in the world. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, good. Carrots are getting up there. Yep, carrots are definitely the way to go for, for villagers. So we'll deal with that. Okay. Yeah. Riley is just... It's... And it's a problem with YouTube chat. It's... Um, Twitch chat is actually designed... It's built off of IRC. Which is designed to do chat. And so that's... It's fast and responsive. Bring up the holy hand grenade. There it goes. But the uh but YouTube does API calls and that's that can be slow. Alright. So let's go figure out cherry saplings up there. Yep, see I've got some petals. So I can bone meal those and get all the pink petals I want. Which is awesome. So if I, hmm. I am to misbehave. <laughs> yeah. All the misbehaving. All right, I think the way up is actually over here. So let's see if I can find a spot that would be a good nine by nine. I think it would be fun to watch the villagers slide down. Um, I don't have any sand, so I can't make glass, which is uh, kind of sad. But I think I can you make. Should some. write a book, how to offend women in five syllables or less. <laughs> ah, yes, that's something I'm good at. <laughs> okay, right. So if I just build this thing out, where's my? I've got some dirt. And I think this will work. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. <laughs> I love movie quotes. All right. So I think what I want to do is if I drop, so I'll need a couple of spaces and then bed space. Yeah. I think this is going to be it. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. So that would be the... That would be where the water goes. Right down there. Okay. Yeah, I think this will work, and then I can just build the house up around it. Um, and seeing then, you alive brings warm yeah. feelings to my heart. <laughs> yes, this absolutely does need to be a problem for future me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's go ahead and fill this in, just so that uh, two, three here, just so I know where it is. Oh, do I have torches? Um, Nope, but I can make them. I'm making a mob farm. I need to not do that. Okay, because that would be bad. Um, yeah, just a little... I have some concerns. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. The concerns are real. <laughs> okay. 
No, I think we got this. So, just uh, bring this this way, and yeah, I'll I'll just need to get some, I think some cherry, cherry wood and cherry logs, and all that stuff. This will be perfect for the villager farm, or the villager breeder, and that one. We'll take that out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this will be this will be perfect. So Yeah, so I can just build up around here. I could drop the baby villagers down that way somewhere and catch them and just try to figure out how I want to do things, but I think I'm going to make use of the river again for the iron farm. Don't think you realize it, but you have a very bad acid. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Cool. Ow. All right, let's turn off the overlay. Whew. All right, well, I've made a start. I didn't quite get as far as I wanted, but I took a lot of time trying to find out where I was going to live, so... All right, sweet. Do I have lava yet? More lava yet? Nope. It's slow. It's okay. It'll get there. In the meantime, you don't have. <laughs> yes, yes. You don't have an accent. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm gonna record a little outro, and then we'll. Uh, I think we'll call it a stream. Well, here I am, day 10, and my little bunker. So this is awesome. Um, at least I have a safe place to live. And I've got a spot I picked out, I think, for a villager breeder. And I get the iron farm set up somewhere near there, probably. So this is awesome. I love it. Uh, if you've loved it, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. You could even turn on notifications. It's okay. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Everybody has an accent to somebody. All right. Ah. Ooh. Yes, and in case you were wondering, why do I have the red overlays? Because hardcore. That's that's why. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, I used to have like gifts and stuff that would go up. Um, I can't do that until YouTube MIU is controlling my overlays, which it's not doing. So, but anyway, I'd like to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, remember, if you haven't already, follow me over there on the socials at Music Free Gaming on TikTok. Instagram, join the Discord. Um, you can follow and sub over on Kofi. And yeah, good night to all of you. Iguana, Sprite, JS, you've all been awesome today. It's been great to have you here. The next stream should be Tuesday at uh, 6 p.m. Mountain, Mountain Daylight Time. Uh, you'll see it. I'll set up the thing on YouTube, scheduled stream, just like I always do. And uh, man, this was fun. I haven't played hardcore in a long time, so this is uh, nerve-rattling and scary and, and great, but it'll be good. So, anyway, until next time, once again, be excellent to each other, and this is Music Free Gaming signing off for realsies.